when we were getting briefed uh, by Jeff the other day, one of the things that uh, kind of caught me by surprise was the way you were approaching the concept of remote or optionally piloted vehicles. Literally a vehicle that push a button and it's set up for two pilots. Push another button, one, and push another button, literally zero pilot. Um, that's kind of a real game changer, isn't it? Uh, we think so. It adds a lot of flexibility to our customers and uh, lets us focus our investments in technology maturation in something that adds value to the product very quickly. If we can start inserting some of the optionally piloted technology in steps, it helps the two crewed helicopter right away. For example, give them automated in-flight refueling where they fly up to the tanker, put a pipper on the drogue, say tank. It takes tremendous workload out of the flight crew, enables them to tank in instances where they might not otherwise be able to, and in the long run is helping our trajectory to the fully unpiloted aircraft. So that's just one example of many of functionality we deliver uh, along the way. Uh, there's a lot of uh, unmanned aircraft, right? That is the buzz and, and they're doing really well in Afghanistan and Iraq. What you don't have yet is a 20,000 pound helicopter moving 8,000 pound payloads in and around the warfighter, the soldier, let alone civilians. We think that's going to bring the technology and the requirements kind of to a whole new level of redundancy, reliability, that we think our fly-by-wire Blackhawk creates the foundation to actually accomplish. A single-strand approach, even dual redundant approach, not enough, right? Very hot, the reliability that we think we'll have in our full authority fly-by-wire uh, upgrade of Blackhawk is what we need to have the foundation for a fully autonomous and optionally piloted approach. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low-time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. The combat environment right now in Afghanistan is about as vicious as it gets in certain segments. But the fact that we might have an aircraft that literally can detect the health of the pilot and take over if for one reason or another biometrically or otherwise says the pilot's either out or not capable of flying or for that matter has other issues to deal with at the time. Uh, it, it's Talk about science fiction coming to, coming to roost. That's right. On the uh, M upgrade aircraft today, if the pilot lets go of the sticks, the helicopter automatically goes to straight and level, holds altitude, airspeed. In fact, that today gives the flight crew just a chance to catch up, right? If they get severely disoriented, uh, have another workload issue they have to deal with, the helicopter will take care of itself. So that's the first step. Imagine now adding functionality to that all the way to an auto return home function, where in, you have an incapacitated flight crew, 11 warfighters in the back, and the helicopter makes it home. Right now, the helicopter will stabilize and give them time. We have the technology path to let the helicopter make it all the way home. Well, one of the things that's interesting from my standpoint is that we've just come out of uh, a year of a ter terrible economy. When most major manufacturers are figuring out how to cut the bottom line, the first thing that goes is R&D. R&D at this point is just you know it's right on the altar, right off the bat, sacrifice gone, bye-bye. Whereas uh, obviously, Sikorsky has really put a tremendous amount of uh, uh, not just money, but talent into the R&D process. How big a sale was that to the boss? We are fortunate to have a president who's a master army aviator, who's passionate about vertical flight, and who understands the value of differentiation, how essential it is. There are more and more companies that can make a decent helicopter. There are very few that could make one effectively optionally piloted, perhaps one that can make a helicopter that'll fly 250 knots. So that ability for Sikorsky to differentiate itself is absolutely essential to our future. So in that respect, the sell wasn't too hard, and we feel really fortunate about that. There's tremendous advocacy for Sikorsky Innovations and investing in it, doing the X2 technology demonstrator fully on our own nickel, 
and that provides us a lot of flexibility and energy. In some cases, we can run a lot faster on some of these projects by just staying focused and doing it ourselves with a really small team. In other cases, we really enjoy cost sharing with our government technology customers to collaborate with them to bring new technology to bear. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. What else might be on the plate for Sikorsky Innovations? Anything else you might tip us to? You know, Firefly is a neat one that, uh, you know, there's no more detail on that, but, you know, stay tuned. The theme of going from concepts to flight and demonstrating things in flight is uh, what you're going to see more and more of uh, this year. Whether it's X-2 flights, optionally piloted demonstrations, maybe we'll see some fire supply stuff uh, this year. It's uh, very exciting. I, I wish we could talk about more, but we're not going to right now. When it comes to rotorcraft, uh, the rotorcraft industry and excitement right now, uh, there's there's nothing that's generated as much buzz as Sikorsky has over the last couple of years, especially out of X2 and now for other reasons. So uh, keep it up. We're looking forward to covering more of the same and getting a chance to see uh, an X2 workout down in West Palm sometime soon. Great. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time. It's an exciting time. I don't doubt it. you got to be having a ball. Yeah. Well, it, it, there was a funny quote in the Showtimes Daily, and I said it when at the launch of Sikorsky Innovations. If you're a rotorcraft person, and this isn't firing you up and getting you excited, we said, you don't have a pulse. And we're going to bring an EMT in here and check you out because something's badly wrong. <laughs>